What's not to love about the HTC One? For many, it's the best looking Android smartphone around. Its build quality is top notch. Your eyeballs are treated to a gorgeous screen and it's plenty powerful. Now, rumors of its successor have been doing the rounds for ages. But HTC's flagship is legend no more. And it's gone from being the one to being our mate. So it seems HTC's looking to reclaim its top smartphone crown by adding more of everything. More screen, more power, more battery, more camera trickery, and even more metal, which is what the M stands for, making this the eighth gen metal HTC. And this is one serious piece of cool, smooth aluminium eye candy, complete with a perfectly rounded back, which means it fits in the hand beautifully, even more so than its predecessor, despite nearly a centimeter increase in height and and a slight increase in width. And that chassis has been made bigger to facilitate the modest increase from a 4.7 inch screen to a truly beautiful 5 inch display. And the 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution remains, which means text and icons are very sharp, colors are impressively vibrant but never overcooked, and off axis viewing is very impressive. And we'll put it out there now, the HTC One M8 is the fastest phone we've tested to date. We've thrown HD movies at it, graphics intensive games, benchmarking tools, we've constantly updated apps and we're yet to see a single stutter. That's all down to its new chip, the 2.3 GHz quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 801. Ultimately, it's just a juiced up Snapdragon 800, but that's still enough to take it to new heights in smartphone performance. But with the Snapdragon 805 potentially making its debut in the impending Galaxy S5 and LG G3, it probably won't stay on top for long. And on the camera front, you'll find the same 4.1 ultra pixel lens as before, only now there's a dedicated depth sensor to create what HTC is calling a duo camera, giving it the ability to focus post snap. So using the U-Focus feature, tap a point on screen and that becomes the focus point, creating surrounding blur in the process. And when it comes to fine detail, the One M8 loses out to the likes of the LG G2, but that's only really exposed through close scrutiny. Generally, snaps taken with the M8 look just as sharp. What's more, it's got a nicely balanced, realistic but vibrant colour palette. The sensor finds light where others see only darkness. And when it's finally defeated by lighting conditions, that dual LED flash works to balance colors and produce natural skin tones. There are some gimmicks like Dimension Plus, which turn your snaps 3D by using the depth sensor to work out the edges of a selected object. You can then use the phone's motion sensors to alter the angles. It's not flawless and there's no real purpose to it, but it's pretty impressive tech. And there are loads of other fun camera tricks to sink your teeth into too. Plus, there's highlights, which groups all of your pics and video from particular moments and events and turns them into a fun montage. Then there's the Sense 6 skin, which sits on top of Android 4.4. Overall, it isn't a huge departure from Sense 5.0, but it does make Blink feed even more awesome. So it still collects social media posts and news from your favorite sources, but you're not just limited to the official HTC content partners. You can now add any RSS feed you like. More impressively, it now monitors your activity, works out what most interests you and presents that first to deliver the news and friends activity that's most interesting to you. And with a bigger battery on board, it's little surprise that it outlasts its predecessor, and you can also expect Fitbit integration as well as G2 like wake functions. The Boom Sound stereo speakers are also 25% louder and sound much, much better too. Now, it goes without saying a bigger screen requires more power, more power requires more battery, and all of these things require more room. And HTC manages to pull it all off while still maintaining an incredibly beautiful design. That's put the HTC One M8 right back at the top, however, with the Samsung Galaxy S5. LG G3 and Sony Xperia Z2 on the way, its reign could be short-lived. But whether they'll actually perform better and be as nice to hold and live with is something we'll all have to wait and find out. Here at Stuff, we care about you guys just as much as all the newfangled tech that winds up on our desks. So we'd love to hear what you think. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus. And of course, for your daily tech fix, make sure you visit our website, stuff.tv, for the latest and coolest gadget news and reviews. And most importantly, don't forget to hit subscribe. One, tell your mates.